not to burst any bubbles, or should I say balloons, but the world's supply of helium is running out. It may not rival oil in terms of global crisis, but predictions that the current reserves will be drained within the next 30 years are deflating, and not just for the future of party aesthetics. Medical, um, research, um, pharmaceutical, and um, alternative energy. Helium is crucial for certain applications within those professions. This year, the use of medical MRI scanners, for example, accounts for one-third of the entire world's supply of helium. The dwindling gas certainly calls for changes in current policy. If you're an existing customer, uh, an older customer, and have been using helium, you will most likely still get it. Um, if you're a new company or a new customer to us, um, getting you liquid helium probably won't happen. Purchasing limitations have also been put on helium. Studies on allocations, um, basically at 70%, um, so meaning you'll get about 70% of what you got last year. In the 1960s, the United States began to collect and store helium in the U.S. Federal Reserve in Texas. The reserve came to hold 80% of the world's helium. After a $1.4 billion investment, however, the government decided to cash back in. According to a 1996 law passed by Congress, the reserve is to be entirely sold off by the year 2015, regardless of market price. As a result, helium is being sold for far too cheap and is not being treated like the scarce resource it actually is. Essentially, the order to deplete reserves is no different than a liquidation sale. The low price is necessary to meet the congressional directive. Prices remain the same the whole time I've worked here for inflation and just regular balloons and stuff like that. If helium followed market prices, that 99 cent party balloon would actually cost around $100. Many believe that we are wasting a resource invaluable to medicine and research on colorful party supplies. The future of helium in our country is uncertain. That's going to depend on the next president, I think, <laughs> um, and how much we drill. Um, if we stop drilling, then it's going to be tougher to get. And if we continue to drill, they should find more. Helium is a non-renewable resource that's quickly going, 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 and soon to be gone. Kenna Nash, News Team Boulder.